This episode of XNA Roundup is sponsored by Duality ZF, a new arcade-style shooter experience coming to the Xbox 360. Hey folks, welcome to the XNA Roundup podcast. This is podcast number 16, and I'm your host, Nick the Dude. Thanks for tuning in. Here at the XNA Roundup podcast, we find the best games on the Xbox Live community game section and give you the rundown on what's worth playing each and every week. You can support this show by subscribing via iTunes or YouTube. You can also link or embed our show on your blog, Twitter, or Facebook page. Another great way to support XNA Roundup is by supporting our sponsors. This week's show is brought to you by Duality ZF, a new arcade-style shooter experience coming soon to the Xbox 360. Stay tuned after the reviews for a sneak peek. I think you'll be glad you did. Quick note before we get started, I mentioned last week we had some awesome Xbox gear to be used in a contest, but we wanted your help to figure out how to give it away. So, we talked to our community and here's the deal. What we want from you is a review of a community game that we haven't covered yet and that you think our audience would enjoy. You can submit your reviews in text, audio, or video form to be used in the show. Try to keep them around two to 300 words and send submissions or links to submissions to xnaroundup at gmail.com with the subject line contest. The best three will win a prize and be featured on a future episode. All right, let's switch gears and move back to games. On this week's show, we're looking at two new releases. First up is Tank Strike, which is basically a port of Scorched Earth, the old-timey turn-based tank projectile game with some extra customization thrown in for good measure. Then we get into a more festive mood with a review of the physics-based puzzle platformer, A Great Easter Egg Hunt. If you've been watching this show for a while, you know one of my favorite games growing up was Scorched Earth, the old tank projectile game. For those unfamiliar with projectile games, they basically involve you adjusting the power and angle of a projectile in order to hit a given target and then launching it. Lately, it seems like there's been a trend to turn these classics from a turn-based game into a more in-your-face style action-oriented real-time shoot-em-up. Tank Strike goes the other way on it, simply translating the old-school turn-based structure and graphical style to the 360. Developer Stegosaurus has done a good job delivering a bit-by-bit copy, while at the same time adding some really great customization options to tailor the gameplay to your own personal tastes and inclinations. That being said, the game does at times seem like it could use a few extra touches of next-gen sensibilities to truly take it to the next level. There are plenty of different projectile options to choose from in the menu, but they all look pretty similar when fired. Different particle effects or sprites could have done a lot to give the game a more unique voice and a little more soul. The inclusion of themes does add a nice change of pace and provides users the option of a visual gear shift. Tank Strike doesn't offer the most exciting single player experience, but if you're looking for something to play when a group of friends stop by and want something that everyone can play at once and have lots of fun with, I think Tank Strike would be a really great choice. From the same developer who brought you the community game Fall Down comes a great easter egg hunt. If you can get past the borderline garish graphics and screen effects, there's actually a really fun physics based puzzle platforming experience to be had. The goal in every board is to move all the eggs on the level to the exit, and there's over 60 boards total. One of the most interesting aspects to the platforming in a great easter egg hunt is its incorporation of the right analog stick. You use the right stick to manipulate your bunny's arms, usually to push eggs or for leverage when manipulating objects. So usually your thumbs are on both sticks and you use the right bumper to jump and the left bumper to flare your ears out. The controls aren't totally perfect, but I really appreciated what amounted to a two stick platformer and I took to it rather quickly. Visually and content wise, this game is aimed toward a younger demographic. But honestly, putting the window dressing aside, this game would probably be enjoyed just as much, if not more so, by adult and young adult gamers who are already familiar with the language of gaming. Though I'd love to hear from viewers with children how their kids take to the game. A great easter egg hunt also has plenty to offer all you completists out there. Every level has different numbers of eggs to collect, and while you can move on without getting every egg, you can't bank your score until you've collected every egg on a level. There's also online leaderboards to see where your score stacks up among other players. The level design is rarely frustrating and generally pretty good. The designers employ things like movable blocks of ice, mouse powered conveyor belts, fire, enemies and more to provide extra depth and chances to solve puzzles. Overall a game worthy of checking out for anyone who enjoys platforming or just likes to try unique gaming experiences. Alright folks that's our show for this week, thanks so much for tuning in. You can get show updates at twitter.com slash xnaroundup. 
and you can email questions, comments, or suggestions to xnaroundup at gmail.com. So, thanks a lot, and I hope to see you next week. But before we head off, here's the trailer for Duality ZF. Enjoy. Duality ZF. A new arcade-style shooter experience coming to the Xbox 360. Featuring dual play mode, one player controls two fighters at once. Four player local co-op including solo and dual play for up to eight fighter action. Six game modes, home, arcade, score rush, bullet hell, survival, and boss rush. Eight stage campaign modes. Massively upgradable spread laser weapons, two bonus shooting modes, multi-directional and G mode. A combined total of 96 game styles with 96 online leaderboards coming soon to Xbox Live.